hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great so today in this video i'm going to show you this simple makeover for eid as many of you requested me to create a simple look for eid so here i am and in this video i have used all the affordable makeup for your ears and i'm going to show you that how you can get heat proof makeup on eid day so if you want to see how i did this then please keep on watching so as you all know that I apply moisturizer before any makeup and this is really an important step and here I'm using the body shop vitamin C glow boosting moisturizer and just to let you guys know that the products I'm going to use in this video you can buy them all from pickupu.com website also from their Facebook page so don't forget to check that and since it is a daytime look so you must need to use an UV protector and here I'm using JNH suns protector it's a really good sunscreen and it's a physical sunscreen so you don't need to reapply it after some times After blending the sunscreen very well, I'm going to use this primer. This is called Maybelline Pore Eraser Primer and it is going to hide my pores. And now I'll be applying some orange color corrector under my eyes and chin. So today in this makeup look, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It is one of my favorite because it's a very lightweight foundation and it is medium to full coverage. And I think this foundation is really good in hot weather because it doesn't crease or looks cakey. And I'm in the shade Golden Beige. Only drawback of this foundation is it oxidizes. So you need to choose one or half shade lighter than your skin. And as my concealer, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C7 and C10. This is also very lightweight, so I think this is perfect for summer weather. And the main key of heat proof makeup is to use very less amount of foundation and concealer on your face. And after blending the concealer, I'm going to use this Mario Badescu facial spray to set everything in place. And this step will assure me very long lasting makeup. And to set my full face, I'm going to use this Maybelline Cover Smooth Face Powder. And I'm in the shade Natural Beige. And after set my full face with a powder, I'm going to again spray this facial spray. To do my simple eyes, I'm going to use these two shadows. One is from Colourpop and another one is from Makeup Revolution. So I'm going to apply this Colourpop eyeshadow with my finger. Because I think it shows much more pigmentation when you apply with your fingers. On top of that, I'm going to use this Makeup Revelation Rose Gold Foiled Eyeshadow just to make it more gorgeous. Now I'll be taking a peachy matte color shadow on my crease just to blend the harsh edges. And you need to blend very seamlessly so that there is no harsh line. Yeah. 
As my liner, I'm going to use this Inglot gel liner in 77. But if you don't want your liner, you can just skip this part and go ahead apply your mascara and falsies. And as my mascara, I have used this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This is one of my favorite. And now I'm going to apply this lash from Red Cherry and the glue I'll be using from House of Lashes Lash Glue. And the brushes I'll be using in this video are from Jessup and these are the duo fiber brushes and these are amazing for your light makeup and the quality is top notch. And you can also buy this from Picobo.com website at very discounted price. Then to contour my face, I have used this sleek contour kit in the shade dark and I'll be contouring my cheeks and nose with it. And as my blush, I have used this Isabella Dupin blush and these are very pigmented so you need to apply it very lightly. And I think these duo brushes are ideal to apply these pigmented blushes. Here as highlighter, I have taken this MOA highlighter in the shade Golden Scintillation. These are really amazing in affordable price. Okay, so now as my lipstick, I'm going to use this Lola Cosmetics. And the shades I'm going to mix are Coral and Rosewood. Trust me guys, it gave me an amazing color out of the mixture. So now to finishing off my makeup, I have sprayed this facial mist again. So yeah, this was the makeup look and I really hope you all liked it. And if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to see you in my next video. So till then, take care and lots of love.